Renshaw 100 puts Somerset on top. The start to the season hasn't been kind to Somerset. Three defeats from their three opening games, albeit with some missed opportunities, especially last week against Surrey. And the tests come thick and fast in Division 1. The visitors to the Cooper Associates County Ground, Warwickshire, the reigning LV County Championship champions. And after struggling with the bats, that's how Somerset started, put in by their visitors, but off to a great start thanks to Renshaw and Lamanby, quickly building their way through the early stages of the innings to bring up the 50 after little more than an hour. This was the tonic Somerset needed. Renshaw up to 50 runs off 80 balls with a drop and go single off McAndrew. And they put 100 runs on the board together up to the mark when Renshaw batted Briggs to the boundary for four. Lamanby followed his partner to 50 before lunch. He reached the mark with a boundary off McAndrew, and both were still there at the break. A great session for Somerset, 130 runs on the board without the loss of a wicket at lunch. But after lunch, the champions had the wicket they'd been probing all morning for. Lamanby out well caught off the bowling of Hannon Dalby by Hayne at second slip. Last week, Tom Abel had shone with a bat, and the Somerset skipper strode out to join Renshaw at the crease, watching on as the Aussie took the score to 150 with a boundary off miles. While Abel popped up with the crucial century at the Kia Oval last time out, this time it was Renshaw's turn to celebrate 100, up to the mark of 158 balls when he whipped McAndrew to the offside boundary. They didn't look back, the partnership soon worth 50, and showing no signs of being prized apart. Briggs took a bit of tap from Renshaw, clearing the ropes to take them a shot away from 200, a mark he carried them to with two runs off the Warwickshire spinner. It wasn't long before the second wicket duo had added 100 runs in their partnership thanks to an able boundary off Renshaw. That took him to the cusp of 50, a mark he reached with a single off Hannon Dalby, Somerset sailing their way towards T. But on the cusp of the break, Renshaw had to go, caught behind for 129, but Somerset was still smiling. They wandered off at 249 for two. Banton emerged alongside Abel, a confidence-boosting 50 at the Kia Oval in his back pocket, and watched on as his captain took his sight to 250, the single symptomatic of a slower start to the evening session. It was a nervy start from Banton too, but he got his innings going with a forceful drive down the ground from the bowling of Rhodes. The skipper made it as far as 70, the score now pushing 300 when he was caught down the leg side off Yates. Hildreth joined Banton in the middle and watched as the young man at the other end got enough on Miles' short ball to take the hosts to 300. Hildreth, though, wasn't long for the middle. He fired a catch to Mills of the bowling of Hannon Dalby to depart for 23. In Davis, Banton found a partner who would stick with him. The last act of the number four before the close was to tick the score past 350. He'll be looking for a 50 when he returns to the middle on Friday, finishing the day 47 not out. That would make him the fourth of the top four to make his way past 50. Somerset's top order clicking into top gear for the first time this season. 400 in their sights and the champions on the back foot heading into the second day of play of the Cooper Associates County Ground.